Great, okay. So good morning, everybody from Oxford in the United Kingdom. Um, this is where I live. I, I travel to Birmingham every day, which is where Aston uh, University is located. I hope you're all safe and well in the world. And I hope that uh, you, you're enjoying the Olympics at the moment because I see that Japan is doing very, very well. Um, so congratulations, and um, I hope that uh, with the remaining days of the Olympics, you can win more gold medals. So my name is Ross Wainwright. I'm the Centre Director at On Campus Aston. So I help uh, young people move on into universities um, and work very closely with them to give them a good experience um, to settle in to the UK um, and, and way of study, but also to settle into life in the UK while they are progressing on to a university to make that transition uh, easier. <clears throat> My presentation today is going to be focusing on medicine um, and, and preparation for the, uh, um, a medical degree in the UK. So the, what, on campus Aston is working uh, very closely with a top 30 UK university and we have a, we're very lucky to have access to the Medicine Undergraduate Foundation uh, program, uh, life science program, and also a, a master's program. We offer postgraduate courses as well. And we can progress our students onto a range of top ranked degrees, including medicine, pharmacy, optometry, biochemistry, neuroscience, and psychology. So what I'll do first is I'll talk through uh, medicine, and then I'll talk about the other degrees that, that are an opportunity as well, because medicine is a very competitive course in, in the UK. And so plan B is always very, very important. So in terms of where the Aston Medical School sits, it's a top 15 in the UK, six for graduate prospects allied to medicine. It's in the top 20 for health professions. It's a relatively new medical school as well, having opened in 2018. And there are 20 international places available for 2022. And just to give you an understanding of the competitive nature of uh, gaining entry into medical schools in the UK, there are 150 places available in total and 20 for Aston for international students. So they are looking for um, some very strong academically capable students coming on to their degrees. When you think about the Aston Medical School curriculum, it's, it's a five year degree, okay? And in the first year, the focus is on anatomy, okay? So you're looking at cell biology, genetics, body structures. There's also an introduction to uh, clinical practice. So uh, you, uh, moving into working into a clinical setting, um, public health, global health, and certainly something that um, is a big focus um, in this day and age with, with COVID. We're also looking at um, you know, pathological processes, metabolism uh, as well in that first year. So there is a lot to cover in that first year with the basics. Moving into the second year, you move into the various systems of the human body. So that's respiratory, gastrointestinal, renal, urinary, immune. And again, you have some um, focus on the clinical setting because as you move through into the clinical set um, through the first two years, you're moving towards years three, four, and five, which is more focused on the, uh, the clinical setting itself. So as you move through the different years at the Aston Medical School, you'll be covering various subjects and topics, disciplines, specialities, um, and there'll be a lot of learning through case study, a lot of learning which requires you learning with other students as well, collaborating, discussing, challenging ideas, and learning in context. That learning in context does um, fall within that experience that you will have in that clinical setting. So what you can see here is that in years three, four, and five, students moving on to medicine will be exposed to 
different clinical settings. So primary care, <clears throat> psychiatry, you'd be looking at um, the census, child health, integrated care, reproductive health, cancer, acute medicine, um, emergency department, and, and then you will, in your final year, in the, in the final part of your degree, look at an elective where you might choose to specialize, okay? So it's a five year, very intensive degree. And Aston University is only looking for the most capable uh, students to move on to the degree. And I'll explain why now. So <clears throat> to, to get onto an Aston degree, we need to think about a number of conditions that need to be met. First of all, to get onto uh, an Aston Medical Foundation, um, we need to consider what the GCSE equivalents are. So uh, in, in the UK, there are 13 years of education. Yeah, the GCSEs are 11 years of education. And GCSE, the performance of a student on GCSEs is a, a good indicator of future success. So Aston University do um, focus on the GCSEs or what might be the year 12 equivalent uh, in Japan. So it's really important you get the highest grades you possibly can because there is um, a score allocated to each of those GCSEs. So from A star through to C. So you, for six A stars, a student might get 24 points, for example. Whereas if you have six A's, which will be three points, you might get 18. And so that's how the ranking of a student is considered uh, in, in terms of making an offer. There's also a UCAT a, a portion to the offer and an interview a portion to the offer, but I'll explain that a little bit more. So what we're looking for in our medical foundation course to help students bridge the gap between year 12 and, and year 13 is these GCSE equivalents, whether you've had any additional study. So some students may have gone from GCSE to do AS or A2, which are the year 12 and 13 in the UK. We would expect students to have completed a UCAT test. So that's the University Clinical Aptitude Test prior to arrival. And that's a critical thinking skills test. The other test that they use in the UK is the BMAT. Um, so that's the biomedical aptitude test. So they're the two tests that, that, that are considered mainly in the UK for progression into medical schools. And then of course, if students meet any of these conditions amongst having an IELTS of 6.0 for the medical foundation, they get to meet me. So I will give them an interview um, to come on to the foundation program. So we will spend about an hour together looking at various things. So we'll talk about the student uh, the, or the potential student in front of us, um, what skills they think they have to become a doctor. We might focus in on some questions around subjects uh, which are important to the foundation course and the degree. So that would be um, biology or medicine. And then we might focus in on you know, what areas uh, a potential applicant is interested in studying in medicine. So it might be oncology, <clears throat> It, it, it could be related to uh, child medicine, for example, um, orthopedics. Uh, so we'll, 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 we'll drill into that and, and we'll have a discussion on that as well. So moving into the explanation of how an offer is made at Aston Medical School, they consider 50% of an offer with the GCSE grades. So it's really important that students do have good GCSE. So I said A star, that's 90 in the UK. Really important that, you know, these, that, that students do have high level grades and, and particularly biology, chemistry, maths um, as well. 25% of the offer is apportioned to the UCAT. So the UCAT is out of a scale of 3,600. Um, last year, I, I heard a range of about 2,100 to 2,400 was around the sort of minimum um, that, that was being looked at uh, by Aston. And then the other 25% is down to the interview. Okay, so let me explain a little bit more about process now. 
in terms of where we sit with Aston Medical School, we have to work with our students to submit their UCAS application. Okay, so I, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of UCAS, but it's the university and colleges admission system. And, and it's a database where students will work with their school and the school will help them submit an application to various universities, okay? And that is on the 15th of October every year. However, our terms start on the 27th of September. So there's a very, very, very short period of time to get students ready, which is why we are offering a free pre-arrival medical preparation course, which has now started. So if you're thinking of coming this September, um, then you know you need to think about your application quite quickly because what we are doing is with our students on this course, uh, we are talking about studying medicine in the UK and at Aston University. So a bit more detail to what I've just given you. We'll be looking at the UCAS application. So how to write a personal statement, what your focus should be within that personal statement and coaching you um, to create that personal statement. We'll also be working with you to make sure that you receive suitable references from your teachers uh, that know you best in the subject areas. That's really important that we capture that information. And that is clearly articulated. We also talk you through the different choices and options. So obviously, if you wanted to come to the Aston Medical University Foundation program, we would be um, you, you know, expecting that you would have Aston as your first choice, but you would also be able to choose three other uh, medical schools in the UK. So when you come through UCAS and you're applying to medical school, you can choose four medical degrees at different medical schools, but you have five choices. And so we also focus on the fifth choice. And I'll talk about the fifth choice in a bit more detail later, but the fifth choice is essentially your plan B, okay? Because medicine is such a competitive course, um, we need students to consider what that fifth choice is, okay? I, I've, I've worked with many students over my career and some very, very good students who want to go into medicine, but unfortunately they have been unsuccessful due to the competition. And it's really hard work if they don't see beyond medicine and they can be quite upset, which is why, I th why it's really important to, to be sensible and to consider that fifth choice. There are um, ways back into medicine, like through the biomedical sciences. So that's something we talk more about as well. What we also do with our pre-arrival course is we take students through UCAT preparation and the skills required to engage with the UCAT exam, okay? And that UCAT exam is open for registration from the 2nd of June to the 22nd of September. And I think the last test is, is like the 25th of September. So just before we start our, our courses at On Campus Aston. So that pre-arrival course is really important um, to help students um, hit the ground running on our foundation program. At the moment, we have about five students on that program. So it's only very small. And we're very selective about uh, the students that, that do come onto that course. And that, 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 that of course, um, is because that students need to meet a number of conditions. Our students will arrive in the UK on the 27th of September. <clears throat> we help them settle in. So we'll take them on a university tour, a city tour. Um, we'll get them involved in the clubs and societies. But actually, what we need to do is get that UCAS submission in by the 15th of October. So it's a quick turnaround. And really by that time, because students have been on our pre-arrival medical program, it's polishing the UCAS application. And we make it look lovely for submission. And then what happens is in the first term, we move on through our curriculum and the end of term exams will take place usually in about December. And from those end of term exams, 
the university and on campus will review the results of the on campus students against the GCSE grades and look at those. From that, along with the UCAP, the medical school will decide to make an offer for interview or not. Okay. And the interviews will take place in March. So that then offers us an opportunity to work with our students to be able to coach them towards what might be a successful interview. Obviously, it's down to the performance on the day, but the interviews usually take place between September and March, and, and we'll be at the end of the interview cycle for Aston. We then move through stage two of the medical foundation curriculum, and we have another series of exams. And then what will happen is the interview will take place. And then from March to June, our third and final term for the foundation course, we will find out the interview outcome and whether or not our students will have received an offer. Um, and that offer will be subject to the medical foundation results, okay? And in that third term, we'll be heading towards our final exams. We'll have some practical exams. The results will come out. And obviously students need to also sit an IELTS exam. So we'll have some IELTS training that will support students on that course as well. And that IELTS result must be seven, no band below seven. So English needs to be better than mine with seven, okay? <laughs> Let's move on. So in terms of progressing from the medical foundation program, it is a high overall mark and for each of the different subjects. So it's 75% overall and 75% in biology for medicine, chemistry for medicine, pure maths and statistics. Hello, and I, hello this, yes. Uh, yeah, this score is for foundation program, am I right? For foundation, yes, that's yeah, correct. Thank you. And so that's it, that's each of our subjects. You'll need to have 7.0, nothing below seven. The UCAT, okay, needs to be at a level that's accepted by Aston. And as you know, that's 25% of the allocation of the offer. And then the other 25, which is the successful interview. The other thing is that um, anyone going in to the allied health professions or medicine will be subject to a fitness to practice assessment, but that will be the medical school making that assessment, okay? So you need to work with the, the medical school on that one. Now, I spoke about the fifth choice earlier on. So we need to be mindful that because of the competitive nature of the course, plan B is important, okay? And there are some great plan B options. So in terms of where, the life sciences or the medical foundation program can take you alternatively at Aston, it can take you into biochemistry. It can take you into psychology, the biological sciences, optometry. Okay, so optometry is uh, doctors who work with eye, the eyes, pharmacy, so medicines, and neurosciences as well. So these are great alternative options that keep you within um, a, a life science career, okay? So Aston has a school of biosciences. It has a pharmacy school, which is fourth in the UK and has, and that fourth in the UK is for graduating salaries. So you can end up with a, a great, salary and um, the pharmacy school is is a long-standing pharmacy school and uh, is traced back to 1847 so it's one of the oldest if not the oldest in in the UK the school of optometry um, is one of the largest schools of optometry globally I believe okay and there are some fantastic facilities um, uh, in this school and it's first in the UK for optometry graduate salaries. So a, a great opportunity there to move into optometry as well. Then there is a school of psychology, which is top 10 in the UK for research quality in psychology, and also has a neuroscience focus as well. 
And in terms of moving on to careers um, in medicine and health and life sciences, students can go on to become researchers. They can work in healthcare practice, biomedical teaching. They can even go on to medical sales and marketing later on. And potential employers out there um, are some of the most famous. So you can see GlaxoSmithKline, you know, Public Health England, uh, the NHS. And obviously, you need to think of how this fits with the, um, the health and life science uh, industry back in Japan as well. Okay. So moving on from the, um, the, the medicine um, part and the life science part, I am now going to move on to the Medicine University Foundation program student experience. But before I do, uh, Yumiko, I'm just wondering whether any questions have popped up that, that I might need to answer. I can see someone's put something in the chat. Oh, that is that's you, you, Miko. Ah, yes, it's me. <laughs> okay, so would everyone like to hear now about studying at on campus Aston and at Aston University? Nod. <laughs> okay, great. So we are in an excellent location. Birmingham is the second largest uh, city in um, the UK, okay? We are a 10 minute walk to the city center. So um, here you can see the bull ring. Um, you can see one of the largest shopping centers in, in Europe. Um, I don't know if you're interested in cricket, but that is a photo of Edgebaston, a famous cricket ground. Birmingham is also very close to, close to places. Uh, well, it, it's in the Midlands and it's close to places like Stratford-on-Avon, which is where Shakespeare was born, uh, Oxford. So it's all very close to going to some really interesting places by train. Of Manchester, not far away. London is but an hour or so away. So it's a really good central location in the UK. And we are very close to that city centre. When you think about Birmingham and its, its local map, we are 10 minute walk. So that red arrow is pretty much a straight line into the city centre. Um, and you can see there where Aston University is located. Now, if you look at my cursor, that Aston green space looks like a triangle. So that is what that symbol is down here for Aston University. That's why that tri triangle is there. So that's the Aston triangle. On campus is on the Aston University campus and we are in the main building. So this picture here shows what the campus looks like in the city. This is the library. This is the main building. We're across from the Faith Center and the business school as well. So, you know, some really nice buildings on the campus. This is the, the building in which on campus is located. We're located on the fifth floor. The medical school is located on the ground floor. The laboratories are located on the same floor as on campus Aston as well. So we, we're, we're really embedded within the university. To give you an idea of where our rooms are, we're on the fifth floor. We have student social space. We have 13 classrooms and we also have a computer lab. So that's just an idea of the building, but you have to think that there's ground floor, level one, level two, level three, level four. Level... It's a really big building. Um, and I believe there are about 10 to 11,000 students at Aston University. So our students will be amongst them all. And here you can see the laboratories on the fifth floor as well, just down the bottom there. <clears throat> we have access to the Aston University Library. So both to the physical print, um, the digital resources as well. Uh, the library is open 24 seven, usually uh, around exam and assessment time when students tend not to sleep because they have lots of assignments to do and they're up late working with their friends to complete them. And it's a lovely library, as you can see here, um, with the glass outer and the, um, the lovely interior. 
These are the laboratories um, that are uh, available for our students to access during their assessments uh, on the life science courses and, and the medical foundation as well. And you can see here a number of the facilities. So you, you have the general life science labs, you have the hospital wards, um, here is the optometry clinic, and actually this is one of the heads of school here. Uh, he's the head of biosciences. So some really nice laboratory facilities uh, for students to use. We are, our students will be associate members of the student union, and so therefore can join clubs and societies. So there are over 100 clubs and societies available for students to join at Aston. We also have an international student buddy system. So when students um, register with us um, and they start to think about arriving in the UK, we will be sending them a link. And what, that, what will happen is there'll be someone at the student union who will pick up registration for the international uh, buddy system and link them up either with another international student or a home student. So when our students arrive, they can meet this person and they can be mentored um, and they can make new friends easily, even before arrival or on arrival. And we think this is a fantastic initiative and encourage all of our students um, to join that. So here you can see, you know, basketball, football, rowing. This building up here is the, the award-winning um, student, uh, student union building. And of course, there are more clubs and societies. So here, uh, I believe we have karate. Um, we have uh, hockey, same basketball gym, and this is the swimming pool at Aston University. It's in a very old building and it's such a lovely swimming pool. But here you, you, students will also be able to, um, for a very small fee, join the gym, the pool, the sauna, the spa. Uh, it's all there available for students, okay? And here you can see that there are various cafes at the university as well. So our students um, do, come from varying different faiths. Um, and so there is a faith center, it's the Martin Luther King Faith, faith Center. So we have uh, Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, um, Muslim uh, pastors that are there to help our students as well. Some students arrive with us and they aren't able to access learning as easy as some others. So. If we identify students or students come with pre-existing conditions, we're able to work with what we call the enabling center. So students might have dyslexia, um, dyspraxia or other learning differences. And we're able to work with the enabling center to help support those students um, through their courses so that they can be successful. They've also got a great safety team um, at uh, Aston as, as well. And there is an Aston safety app that we would encourage our students to use just so we know their location in, in Birmingham, okay? And the hub, the cafes, everything else make for a great student experience at Aston University. If you're thinking of studying and you're thinking, oh, I like Aston, um, we have some great accommodation as well. So let me show you the accommodation available here. So we have an accommodation called Bromsgrove House. It's based in the Chinese um, quarter where there are Asian supermarkets, bakeries, fantastic restaurants, um, and the world famous Bullring Shopping Center close by. It's about a 15 minute walk for me, I've got long legs. So maybe those with shorter legs, it might be that little bit longer to walk. So maybe 20 minutes. But here you can see the cinema. It's got a karaoke room. So if you like karaoke, you can sing to your heart's content in your accommodation. Um, um, and there's a gaming room as well. So that's one of the accommodation options. And you can see here the, the, uh, the bedrooms. And then the other one is an eight minute walk. It's called Canal Side. Um, uh, it's a really nice accommodation too. Very, very close. Um, has pool and table tennis, gym, study room and ensuite rooms as well. So there, there, there is choice there in terms of what's on offer um, at, with the on-campus accommodation. Okay, now just quickly um, to, to finish up my presentation because I'm mindful my colleague um, is, is joining and is probably on the call already um, uh, to talk about uh, UK North and, and UCLan and, and the other um, 
medical schools around the UK. But we do, there are three schools, um, the three colleges, sorry, at uh, Aston. And so there is a College of Engineering and Physical Sciences, the College of Business and Social Sciences, and the College of Health and Life Sciences. So anyone that does come on to a medical foundation and then goes into medicine will be in the College of the Health and Life Sciences. But there are other degrees available. And just to say that the business school is a triple accredited QS top 100 uh, top 100 European business school as well. So it, it's a very famous school and not many, um, not many business schools do get that triple accreditation. Okay. So I think that's me with my presentation this morning. Um, and I hope that you learned something new from it um, and that you might be considering Aston as an option. And if you do, um, yeah, you son, who I know is on the call, will help um, work with with um, NIC, and and uh, we look forward to welcoming you welcoming you in Birmingham if you choose to come and study with us. So thank you for your time listening to me this morning. Thank you very much. Any questions? え、そういうのを自分自身でまず聞いてみていただくといいと思います。大丈夫自分のことだからね、しっかり自分で聞かないとね。大丈夫そう。はい。So it looks like it looks like we're going to have many uh, you know, female doctors here. <laughs> Great. Uh, Linda, are you there? I am indeed. <laughs> oh. I'm here. I was, I was wondering why there was two you sons. It's yeah. Linda, you sons. <laughs> Unfortunately, my invitation into Zoom just disappeared from oh, my dear. email box. So I had a quick flurry of uh, communication with Yusin this morning. <laughs> Please send me a link. But yes, okay, I am well, here. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Nice you. Bye. Thank you, Ross. Thanks, Ross. Bye, Linda. Okay. <laughs> so let me share my screen with you now. Uh, and quite an act to follow there from my colleague, Ross. So let me just make sure that, can you see my screen okay? Yeah, okay. So thanks ever so much for bearing with us. That was a real interesting uh, and in-depth presentation from Ross on Aston University and on campus Aston. And my presentation and information to you today takes a, a slightly different slant because yes, we are in partnership with UCLan and yes, we are, our classes and our offices are on the UCLan campus. But we're not just supporting students to progress through to UCLan. So, we're an open foundation, so we're classed as a one to many. And yes, our main partner, as I say, is UCLan. And they have a well-renowned medical school. So all our students are guaranteed a place at UCLan if they complete and pass our foundation program and also their university interview. As Ross so rightly pointed out, definitely medicine and some allied health course progression routes demand an interview. So it's not just down to academics. But all our students are fully supported with the transferable skill statements and interview techniques and the skills and the NHS values. And of course, we, are, we support them in their knowledge of the GMC guidelines, and that's the General Medical Council. Because students often think that if they are good 
academics and they achieve wonderful academic results, then they will automatically have a good interview because they're really good at studying. But the interview is not about that. It's about whether you, not as an academic, but as a passionate, caring person, can be trained to be an effective doctor. And a good academic does not necessarily mean a good doctor. And all your training will be within our national health system. So it's very important that students support the NHS values. And once they start their training, they become a member of the NHS workforce. And as many of you probably know, our NHS is free at the point of contact. And that means that if a patient presents themselves needing medical support or medical care, doesn't matter their social standing, their bank balance, the color of the skin, their heritage, they need medical assistance and they will get it. And it's something in the interview that you have to prove that you support, that you remain patient focused. And it's something we take very seriously at On Campus UK North. So much so that students are given two hours a week, in addition, on their timetable, to help support them to develop these very important skills. And I have some data to show you at the success of our students in their interviews. And I will come on to that. Now we are a one to many, so all our students are supported to make applications through UCAS. Ross explained what UCAS was, and we have a full-time higher education progression coordinator at On Campus UK North to support all students. Now then, although we support students to make applications through UCAS, UCAS is for UK universities. And here at On Campus UK North, we have four main university partners for medicine. And our partners here do not require the UCAP. So there's no pressure on students to achieve that UCAS, uh, that UCAT. So we've got the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. And those of you that really want to be a doctor will have already researched medical schools. These names will be familiar to you. RCSI is a global well-renowned university. And they also have a campus in Bahrain. So if any of you students are looking for international experience, as well as the UK experience, then RCSI could be for you. Now, St. George's University in the Caribbean, if your plan is to maybe go and practice in the US, then that could be your option. University of Nicosia in Cyprus. If you're considering studying within the EU, then that could be your option. And then of course, we've got UCLAN, who has always been our main medical university partner. And what I can say about our partners, there are no caps on international students, none at all. So all students are guaranteed an interview if they successfully complete our foundation programme. We can guarantee you that interview and we can also support you in the skills needed for that interview. Now, although we've got our medicine foundation program, one thing you can do from UK North is progress to medicine 
from our life sciences program. So what I'm showing you here is what you will study and the difference between the life sciences and the medics. So with the life sciences, you'll study biology, chemistry and skills. And you'll have the additional interview skill support for two hours a week. Notice there's no maths involved in life sciences. So if maths is an area that you're not overly confident with, then you might consider this route. Now this route will take you into the six year MBBS. You will need to achieve 70% in each of these modules. And I did notice it's 75% at Aston, but you will need 70% in your academic modules and the IELTS 7 in each element. I've also put the requirements there for nursing as one of the allied healthcare, but it's not just about medicine and nursing when you're focusing on uh, life science or medicine. And then here we've got the medicine undergraduate foundation program and the slight differences in content. So you've still got the biology and chemistry at six hours a week. But with the medicine UFP, you also study six hours of maths. And again, that extra two hours of skills. And you might look at that and think, well, I might as well go for the easy option and go for life sciences. But remember, life sciences is progression to sixth year. Whereas the medicine, the MUFP, is progression to five year. So if you're confident and capable in your maths, then you go for the medicine UFP. Again, 70% in each module that's needed. And I've also added at the bottom there that if you join on Campus UK North and you haven't yet achieved a seven in your IELTS, you will have six hours a week on your timetable for English. And we have an English exam in each of our three terms. So if you achieve the seven IELTS, or the 70% English in term one, then that six hours is taken off your timetable. So, I mentioned the six year MBBS. So what would be the difference of this additional year? Well, at UCLan, their first, their year zero, as they call it. So you'll be focusing on the, the fundamentals of biomedical sciences, very much the same as, as described by Ross. And of course, there will be an element of medical mathematics. Remember, you didn't study mathematics in life sciences. And it's very much about statistics and interpreting data. Very focused on that. And then the latter half of the course, you'll be looking at the human body functioning. And then again, disease state uh, and scientific communication skills. So they're preparing you for going on to that five year, but you automatically progress to the five year. If you are offered the six year program, then you are on that medicine undergraduate foundation program. No more interviews, no more entry exams. You are on it. It's six years as opposed to five. Now, RCSI also offer the six year route. And this here shows what their year zero includes. And it is very medicine focused. I'm not going to run through the whole list with you. I will be repeating a lot of what Ross included in his very detailed uh, presentation but we can clearly see 
the focus is absolutely medicine, nothing but medicine. So that when you complete year zero and go on to year one, you're there, you're ready, you're prepared, and you're on your way for the five-year program. So very much MBBS there, very much doctor focused, but of course, as is the same with Aston, it's not the only thing that students can progress through to. And like Aston, we always, always encourage our students to have a backup plan. It is competitive, of course it's competitive. And one more thing that we do at UK North is introduce the students to all the different progression routes that are available to them. So sometimes we've had students that actually change the mind. They come in thinking they want to be a doctor and then think, well, actually, no, they've been over to the med school. They've been over to the different departments within the allied healthcare. They've spoken to paramedics. They've been in clinics. They think, well, actually, no, I, I want to focus on pharmacy. I, I want to undertake the research. Had a wonderful interview this week. Actually, with a student from Korea. Yusun, you sent me an email. How did he do? He was wonderful. I'm going to offer him a place. But you know, throughout the interview, he was very focused on research and technology. And he was so interesting. He will follow the, the MBBS, but he's going to go into research without a doubt. And there are, there are various different progression routes that will take you into your desired end career. And we'll help you look at that. Over at UCLan and with our main university partners, the course leaders and the admissions tutors deliver progression talks to all our students. And it's very important because it will allow you to ask the specific questions of that specific university. So our students find that very useful. And, and of course, our recent developments with RCSI and St George's is of course that six year route that's available to the students. And do remember that this support that we give to you is robust. We know, we know what's needed by those medical schools. And I'm going to go on and show you where our experience comes from in knowing what's needed from the medical schools. So I see that we're, I've only got 10 minutes left. So we encourage all our students to complete the UCAS applications once they arrive in centre. As Ross said, 15th of, September, uh, 15th of October is the deadline for UK medical schools, but it is not the deadline for our university partners. So there's no pressure on our students at all to make the university application if they want to progress through to one of our partners. We do have our HE progression coordinator. She will monitor and track applications throughout the whole academic year and throughout the whole UCAS process. And she will always ensure that students are being realistic in their expectations. You will receive weekly support to prepare uh, for your personal statement. So you'll get that support in skills, but also from our HE progression. So, um, just an example of some other universities, apart from our partners, that have been making offers to our medic students. So we've got the university in Turkey, Egypt, the Gulf Medical University, and the university in Prague, and also Taylor's University in Malaysia. So you can see there how much value 
these universities are putting on our foundation program. And I've given some indication at the bottom of some alternative options that our students uh, selected and have been given places for. And you will notice some Russell universities there giving offers to our students. So again, recognizing the value of what UK North offers and gives to our students. Uh, we can see this steady increase in student numbers year on year, and you can see that UK North started their medicine undergraduate foundation programme in 2015. So well experienced, we have some excellent tutors and some excellent relationships with our partners that we then feed back into our students. We have a good gender split. So a good learning experience for our students. And here I've given you some uh, data on this year's cohort. So the students that started in 2020 and all these students studied online. 70 students were interviewed by UCLan and 56 of them have received conditional offers. That means that 56 had successful interviews. Then our 2021 cohort, 26 students went through and 24 of them received conditional offers. 24 successful interviews. So what's that, 76, 80, 80 successful interviews this year for our students. Then 24 of our life science students went through to be interviewed for MBBS and 50% of them, 12 of them have received conditional offers and two of them are pending and that's for fee assessments. And out of our nurses, 41 students went through for interview and 33 of them received conditional offers. RCSI, 14 life sciences, again, 50% of them received conditional offers. 11 MUFP students went through and again, 50% of them have received offers. So you can see there the success rate and, and this is not just down to on campus UK North, this is down to the dedication and commitment of our students too. But if you're committed and you give 100%, I can assure you our tutors will give you 130% because your success is our success. And here is our team. And this is where your support comes from. Here at UK North, the course leader for medics is based here. That's William at the top. We also have the subject leaders for medicine based at UK North. We've got William again for chemistry. Paul is our maths subject leader and Chris Workman is our biology subject leader. They've been operating, delivering, on the programme and supporting our students since 2015. And we also have Fosia. I don't have a photograph of her, but Fosia delivers on the biology. She's also our course leader for teaching and learning. And Fosia has also worked in the UCLan School of Medicine. And she is still linked with the tutors there and still offering support and delivering some of their classes at UCLan. So we've got a well experienced team here at UK North to support your studies and your progression. So this year, our June 2021 results, we are currently deadline for our January starters and our August finishers, we're just going through the final uh, checks on exam results, but from our June finishers, 93% of our students on the medics pathway have passed and 84% on our UFP. So those are really good results. And considering that the majority was delivered online, 
I have to say massive thanks to this team who gave so much one-to-one -one, one -one online support to the students to get them through. So fabulous team. Again, like Aston, we do have lots of progression options for you. We're running short of time. I would probably re be repeating a lot of those progression routes from Aston, so I won't go through every one, but we have an awful lot of guaranteed progression routes for you. If they're non-guaranteed, it's because an interview is required. So lots from medics and of course, the allied healthcare from our life science pathway too. So a little bit, at UK North, we have a good reputation for supporting student well-being, And this is how we do it. We never, ever, ever encourage and support students to be studying all the time. It's not good, it's not good. You're going to work hard as future medics. You need time away to allow all that new information to filter through and become knowledge. And you can only do that when you're relaxing your brain. So we organize lots of supportive trips for you. And, and these are just some of the photographs. And you can see the faces of our students. There are boat trips, there's fun in the park. We always organize a sports day. Great, great fun. Even I get involved and get involved in the racing and race against the students. I've never won yet, but I try and try. We have evening social events. We have trips to the seaside. Um, we have heritage um, visits. And we've got a buddying system for you and a mentoring system for you. And you have a personal tutor to work with you an hour every week to sit down and say, right, stop, stop. Let's have a little bit of reflection. How can we make your time more enjoyable and your learning more effective? UCLan itself, all our students become a UCLan student when they join us. It doesn't matter where you're going to progress to, whether you're going to progress to an alternative UK university or an overseas university. When you're with UK North, you are a UCLan student and a member of the UCLan community. There's been about 60 million spent in the last three years on UCLan and you're joining us when all this is finally open and it's there for you. And there are so many clubs and societies for you to get involved with. Not only do we arrange these things for you, but look what's available at UCLan for you free of charge to help you chill, relax, and allow your studies to become knowledge, knowledge to take you forward as a medic. Here are some beautiful photographs in and around Preston. It's a, it's a lovely town, we're a, well, we're a city, but we're only a small city and you will blend in. We're right in the town. You don't become just a UCLan student, member of the community you become a member of the Preston community you're one of us whilst you're here and you will feel it we're multicultural we're diverse and you become a part of it so I'm going to flick through and one minute over time you will get highly qualified professional teaching staff I've introduced you to them you will get a personal tutor. You will at all times be able to track and monitor your progress and you will get regular and timely feedback. You will know all the time where you need to improve. And that is why our students do so well because the responsibility is not only the tutors, it's yours too. 
and our students grasp it. You will have access to everything at the university, all the computers, the library, everything to support your learning. There are lots of personal development opportunities. And one thing that we take very important at UK North, we listen to you. Our medics have fed in to this course every year. And so we value them so much that they come back and they will buddy up with our foundation students. They value, they value our foundation program and your journey. They come back, they feed into it. So I'm going to stop there. You can see I'm very passionate about the medics at UK North. I'm very passionate about UK North because I do believe that the experience that we've got to offer you cannot anywhere be surpassed. So if you've got any questions, anything at all, I am more than happy to answer. So please throw your questions at me, send me an email, speak to your son. I'm here for you. Thank you very much, Rita. <clears throat> does that mean I've enticed you all to come and join us at UK North? <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to see you? Yeah. Uh, actually, the, some of the some of the students, some of the students, uh, is really difficult to uh, the, because of the high school regulation. Some students have the, no classes for the biology or chemistry. In that case, students can go through the life science foundation. Yeah. So it's really nice way to study there. I think if you would like to go to uh, if you'd like to be a doctor. So yeah. please think about and to review your her presentation today. And uh, thank you yeah, very much. One, well, one thing I would say to students, uh -huh. if you have not studied biology or chemistry at year 12 or 13, and you really want to be a medic and you have good results in other subject in other scientific subjects in year 12 and 13 still put your application in and remember it's your it's also your passion that we look at and your motivational drivers we'll always look at a student holistically so we'll look back at your year 11 results too Mm -hmm. okay? okay, we will do that. Yeah, but thank you very much. Thing, please, please, if you want to be a medic, prove it to us. What have you done at, to this point to prove that you want to be a medic? Where have you put yourself forward <laughs> to help other people, to mm -hmm. volunteer and put yourself forward? Mm -hmm. That's what we want to see, and that will support your application because that's what the medical schools want yeah. to see. Thank you. Okay. And uh, actually, one of the students is a student of Ukraine from the uh, uh, UK North, and the two of the two our students is going to study the medicine foundation this year. So uh, you have us. Uh, former student there. So I think more comfortable for you to study the medicine program. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you very much. Oh, you're very, very welcome. And thank you all so much for, for sticking with me and listening <laughs> to me. I know I've gone over time. So thank you. Thank you. Thank very you, much. Linda. Enjoy the rest of the summer and keep away from that COVID. Okay. Yeah, thank you. We will. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you've not had your vaccine, we give it free in the UK. Thank you. <laughs> See you now. Bye. Thank you, Linda. Bye. Bye. Thank you. で最後に皆さんにご紹介したいのがユさんです。ユさんはね、アジアベースで、えー、とオンキャンパスの学生さんをヘルプするしてくれる学生さん、えー、とスタッフの方になっています。え、I'm introducing you, ユさん。Yes, she is a person who are、uh, based in Asia. So we have a communicate with her, with her without time differences. So she is a really helpful person. Uh, if you have、uh, some question or set up,、uh, you would like to have a、uh, set up the meeting of center heads,、uh, she can manage it.、Yeah. So please say hello.、Uh, no, no. Uh, could you give something from your side? You、uh, hi, yeah. hi, everyone. My name is Yusan Kim, and I'm based in Seoul, Korea. And like Yumiko said, there is no time differences, and I'm here to answer your questions about application. Or, like, courses and the differences between Aston and you, you plan or other options that you can have from our foundation program. So, if you have any questions about whether you can join the course with your high school grade, all k i n d of all s o r t of questions, then you can directly email me or ask, ask that through Yumiko. So, feel free to reach me whatever you want. Yeah,、uh, if it's like on the normal circumstance, I normally go and visit you in person, but because of the travel ban, everything,、uh, you can email me or we can arrange a one to one meeting through Zoom. So please feel free to reach me if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, any questions? Are you okay? Hi, Dave. もしね、えっ、ーえー、と、まあ、医学部行くんで、行く、えー、A レベル、2年間の A レベルをやらないと思うんであれば、えー、ファンデーションから進む、この、えっ、ー、と、ユクランか、アストンの2つがベターだと私は思ってます。なので、もし興味あるなっていう学生さんは、お知らせください。えー、トランスクリプトをね、送って、まあ、先ほどあったパッションだとかに示す部分じゃないけれども、えー、そこの部分で、えー、進学が可能かどうか、ライフサイエンスから行かなきゃいけないか、メディソンの方から行けるかということを確認させていただきます。なので、お知らせください。どうかな大丈夫学生の皆さん、OK? はい。<笑>じゃあ、Thank you, y o さん。OK。バイ。Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. 大丈夫かな、うん、で、えっ、ー、と、高校の成績とかがね、本当大切で、成績もそうだし、取ってるコースとかもね、大切になるんで、えー、早めにね、アクションしなきゃいけないし、えっ、ー、と、まあ、ファンデーションっていうのは1年間でとか、簡単に行きやすいコースだけど、その代わり高校の成績が、ギャップとなるかなって、秋かせになって、進学先がちょっと左右されちゃうっていう部分があります。ちょっとそこから放たれて、イギリスでメディスンを学びたいという場合には、えー、と来週だっけ、MPW のセッションを組まれていると思うんですけども、そちらに参加してみてください。MPW は A レベルをしっかり学んで、皆さんをメディスンのプログラムに入れてくれる学校だと思います。なので、その様子を聞いて、金額を比較して、えー、皆さんの進路は決めてもらうといいかなと思います。よいでしょうか。はい、大丈夫。はい。えっ、ー、と他の学生さんよりメディスン希望してるんだったらね、ちょっと早めにアクションすること、えー、他の人たちに先に出てアクションすることをお勧めいたします。いいかな。はい。どうもありがとうございました。お疲れ様でした。